Let's now talk about white balance when shooting video. Now I'm going to assume you have a basic understanding of white balance. You work in Kelvin in exactly the same way as in the stills world. But be careful with auto white balance in video mode. Using auto white balance in stills is fine because you're only shooting one frame at a time and you can easily adjust your photos as required in post-production. In video, you can point the camera one way and get one color temperature, point the camera another way and get an entirely different color temperature. When you cut those two shots together and attempt to create a seamless transition from one shot to another, you might find you've got problems in post-production trying to match the colors. So consistency is what we're always looking for. Now, depending on the subject you're filming, you may decide to use auto or manual white balance setting. I recommend manual setting because of the ease of color matching in post-production. Auto white balance can also be useful in some situations when there's no need for color matching or editing. A safer and more consistent option is to set the white balance based on the lighting conditions you are filming in. For example, if you're shooting outdoors, then a daylight balance preset of 5600 Kelvin will likely suit the scene well. Even if color temperature shifts between cloudy and sunny, matching the shots in post-production will be relatively straightforward as a process because the base color temperature is constant. Tungsten setting you may like to use for warmer indoor lighting where the ambient color temperature is 3200 Kelvin. There are some other preset options including shade, cloudy and fluorescent. Some video shooters advocate setting the white balance manually from a piece of white card or paper. This can work well if you're shooting a one-off interview and you want to get a particular tone on the skin. To set up white balance on the A7 Mark III, go to the menu, then select camera settings and scroll down to white balance. This will display a range of white balance options to select from. To set up a manual white balance on the FS5 Mark II, you can toggle the white balance switch on the side of the camera to A or B, where you can store two manual white balance settings. Point the camera at a white card with light falling on it and then press the white balance set button on the front of the camera. The preset switch is controlled by the camera menu. You'll notice that both cameras have several options for you, including auto white balance. The time when I would recommend using auto white balance in video mode is if you have no choice but to design a shot that follows someone from an interior shot where the lighting may be tungsten to an exterior shot where the lighting may be daylight. In this unique situation, using auto white balance would track and change as you transition from inside to outside. And I have to say that Sony cameras do a very good job of making it look smooth and seamless. For the most consistent results, I advise setting your color temperature to match most closely what the environment you're shooting in requires. In summary, if you're shooting video, there's only three color balances you need to worry about. Tungsten, daylight, and setting your Kelvin scale manually based on what you see in the monitor. Hi, I'm Dan Lenny. Thank you for watching this tutorial. You can find other useful tutorials and video creation by clicking the link shown. Be sure to click and subscribe to let us help you enhance your skills and be a great video creator.